Breaking news. Prince, Prince Harry. Harry. Go ahead. <laughs> you Meghan want this Markle badly. Did. And Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, ready to show the world their new baby boy. Take it away. CNN's Mac Foster is live at Windsor Castle, and we finally have the big reveal. Max. John, your big moment. I know you've been looking forward to this. We do have the video. It was taken uh, in the last hour in Windsor Castle behind me. Uh, here it is, and you're going to get some answers from Harry and Meghan as well. Congratulations. Thanks for taking the time out. I know you guys are, must be really, really busy, but um, um, Megan, can you tell us what's it like becoming a new mum and tell us a little bit about baby Sussex, as we're calling him? <laughs> um, it's magic. It's pretty amazing. and I mean, I have the two best guys in the world, so I'm really happy. Tell us a little bit about um, your son. What's, what's he like? Is he, is he sleeping well? Good baby? Yes. He has the sweetest temperament. He's really calm and. Um, uh, he gets that from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's been—he's just been the dream. So it's been a special couple of days. And who does he take after? Does he look like anyone? We're still trying to figure that out. But everyone says that babies change so much over two weeks. We're basically sort of monitoring how the uh, how the changing process happens over this next month, really. <laughs> His, change, his looks are changing every single day, yeah, so true. who knows? And how you find parenting generally? What's it, is it still a special moment? Yeah, it's great. I mean, parenting is amazing. It's, it's only been, what, two and a half days, three days? Yeah. Um, but we're just, we're just so thrilled to have, have our own little bundle of joy um, and be able to spend some precious times with him as he slowly, slowly starts to grow up. <laughs> and uh, I hear you're going to to see two special people in a minute. Yes. Um, Queen and, and the Duke. Yes, and we just bumped into the Duke as we were walking by, which was mm. so nice. So um, it'll be a nice moment to introduce the baby to more family, and my mom's with us as well. So it's uh, it's been a really mm. here we go. Another, <laughs> another great grandchild. Another. Yes. <laughs> Can we have a little peek? We just can't quite see his face. Oh. Wow. Mm. He's already got a little bit of facial hair as well. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thanks for your time. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you everybody for all the well wishes and the kindness. Mm -hmm. It's really, it just means so much. Thank you. Thanks for support. Thank you. Okay, Max, that was lovely. They look happy um, from what we could see of the baby. Uh, it looks like they've mastered the swaddle the all-important swaddle. Um, it was impossible to see really his face, but they said that they can't tell exactly who he favors or what he looks like right now. So, Max, as we understand it, at this moment, they are meeting with the queen and they are bouncing names, baby names off of her. Yeah, so I can tell you they've committed to a name, they've decided on a name. It might be a couple of names, because as you say, they're heading off to meet the Queen. They're speaking to her uh, right now, I understand, and they're probably going to present the name to her. She doesn't have a say on it necessarily, but I'm sure they'd want to put it past her. And once they've done that, they're going to announce the name to the wider world. Obviously, they want her to know before the rest of us. So that's the little moment we've got later on coming up as well. So there they were in St George's Chapel, grand surroundings. They both look really well, but as you say, a bit of a frustration that we can't actually see the baby's face. I can tell you there's a stills photographer in there as well. So we're waiting on those pictures. We'll obviously bring them in to see if they got a better shot. But um, uh, the reporter was obviously asking Harry to present the baby's face, but he didn't quite manage to do that. I'm sure there are people saying Harry was being awkward there. I think he was just being a, a careful dad. I don't blame them. I mean, obviously, the dog and pony show of your new baby, it's so private, it's so personal. You don't want to, you don't know how much to play to the cameras. I, I certainly uh, understand that. But, Max, do you know today what the name, the, the front runners are for the names? 
I think we've got Alexander and Spencer, which are the two ones that have been consistently at the top of the betting tables here. Spencer, uh, because it's a reminder, really, of Diana Spencer, as her name was before she was Princess Diana. Everyone always, you know, well, Diana always looms large in these royal occasions. I think people are willing that on. Alexander is seen as a name that works in the US and the UK, but it's utter speculation. We simply yeah. don't know what the name is. They've decided in the last yeah. day or so. so hey, Max. Uh, once the Queen has the news, I'm sure Prince Charles as well will get hey, it. Max, here's the, uh, if you have a monitor there, here's a picture of the baby. This is the still photo, I think. I think this is a photo from the still photo. Yes, not just taken from the video. So that is the best picture, Max, that we have so far where you see the baby's little lips and nose and closed eyes, and he looks exactly like a baby. <laughs> this is the thing, isn't it? Everyone's saying, what does he look like? I had this with my own babies. I mean, they do look, look like babies. Um, yes, uh, we're not going to get much of an update, really, either. They're going to disappear off for a few weeks. That's the best we're going to get. So we'll have to analyze what we have there. I mean, that might as well be a picture, a photo from my son's birth, because they do look like babies for a while. But he <laughs> looks very beautiful, and he certainly looks very content. And it was nice to hear them say that he's a very good-natured baby in these past, whatever it's been, yes. 24 hours. And uh, just your take, because you cover them so often, how did you think that they seemed this morning? Well, I think it's really positive. I mean, Harry looks very happy. They look quite tired. I, I know that Megan's got this very holistic approach uh, to her health and I think what she was looking for is a very calm birth as calm as possible and she wants the baby to have this uh, you know very calm introduction to the world and she said he was calm uh, a nice temperament so I think for them it's gone really really well uh, it's interesting as well because we've talked a bit on the show about how they're trying to have a private moment here but they haven't let any family in either it's literally just been the three of them and Doria Megan's mother uh, just for the last couple of days so meeting the Queen is the first introduction to the wider family Mm. Max, thank you very much for bringing it all to us. We've been looking forward to this moment. Thank you. We will check back with you when we find out the name.